All right, well, we just got to the uh, Oatland Wildlife Preserve. It's actually really close to where we live. And uh, we weren't sure what to expect. This was gonna be some kind of weird place where they had a bunch of animals tortured in cages or it was gonna be nice. So far, it seems pretty nice. Found the trail. What are you most excited to see? Uh, the wolves. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. The wolves are pretty cool. So we got this map, it says everyone who's on here, but uh, I kind of just want to be surprised. The animals you will see today are wild, not pets, and live here because they are unable to survive on their own in the wild. Many have been injured, some were orphaned, or born in captivity. So they're not. They're not. Uh, Carol Baskin. Stuck here. <laughs> yeah. They're not Carol Baskin. <laughs> So we've made it to the gator. The good news is this is actually a really nice area for them. Problem is, there's so much room that we can't find him. Yeah. So, so far, we cannot find this alligator. He's quite, quite hidden. I still think this place is cool, but uh, we're at the third main exhibit, which is a bobcat, and we've looked for, I don't know, 10 minutes, and it's uh, it's just really cold and kind of rainy. We can't find it, can't find him either. So there's a cage in the back. I think he's just just hiding back there. Say that again. No. <laughs> no. Well, you Kara's said. just saying, and she's right. It's just so strange here, coming from Pennsylvania, because. Everything is like swampy and marshy like this. Strange, isn't it? Yeah. But coming from a place that's filled with snow and mountains and stuff, this is actually really amazing. What do you have to say about it, Kim? <laughs> what do you have it's to say? It's just learn? cool. If you see it, marshes from a distance and read about them in books, but they're like, they do. the fox yeah all right well the fox is hiding too I mean it is genuinely freezing cold and raining so I get it but we'll see something we're gonna see something before we leave how fitting the first animal we see is a goose We are in North America, so I guess it's fitting that the animals we see are regular farm animals. Oh my god, Kara. What? <gasps> that is the biggest cow I've ever seen. She is huge. Oh. I've seen a lot of cows and I know they're big, but there's something very unusual about this one.
nature's garbage men. They eat dead things. Kara loves vultures. All right, so Kara got to see her vultures, which she loved, and these are my favorite right here. Look at these guys. After not seeing the first group of animals outside, seeing these wolves is definitely worth it. like a snake gonna fall on you at any point this is it just finished the whole tour i say it was actually pretty cool i was worried that this was going to be some kind of thing with the uh, small chain link fences with like tigers like trapped where you could just watch them suffer but all the animals here were rescued um they all had really nice areas so big we couldn't see most of them yeah a lot of the areas were so big we couldn't find them but uh it's a cool place we'll be back the weather's terrible so a lot of the animals are hiding what was your favorite Probably the farm animals. I just, yeah. we could get closest to them, but there was wolves that were really cool. Yeah, the wolves are pretty cool. The wolves were, um, they were playing a lot. That was awesome. The birds were easy to see, the farm animals. I still think that cow, that's some kind of yeah. freak of nature. It was the biggest cow I've ever seen. And I got to say also, despite all the cool animals, uh, that marsh was like really special. I would like to come here on a sunny day. They had benches along it. It's, it's kind of raining a little bit now, but if we could sit there, um, on a sunny day and just watch the birds, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. So, all right, well, we'll see you soon.